Mr. Vice President, our organization expresses its appreciation of your dedicated commitment to the plight of the people of Myanmar, who are systematically being robbed of their right to development, as well as the enjoyment of their cultural, economic, and social wealth by the oppressive military regime in the country. Particularly concerning, however, is the response of some of Myanmar's powerful neighbors, who seem all too willing to sacrifice the survival of Myanmar as a society for the sake of their own geopolitical games. China, which barely conceals its prioritization of national interests over international human rights considerations, even within its own territory, has cheerfully jumped in by expanding its so-called investment schemes, including in military equipment, which enables the military regime in Myanmar to continue its dictatorial designs. China's support and legitimization for the military regime risks provoking greater violence in Myanmar and pushing any peaceful solution of the conflict out of reach. Mr. Vice President, the only way to restore a sense of stability is through the restoration of democracy and the constitutional exclusion of the military from all political affairs. I humbly urge this Council to call out and hold accountable those countries which, through openly supporting, arming and bankrolling the military junta, contribute to the prevention of this goal. Thank you.